<laughs> Crap, we had a lot of wood. Not filled this up nicely. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> wow, that wood filled us up nicely. What? What? So 60 trees in total, by the way. It is 10 by 6, this tree farm. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, and it will produce roughly, uh, well, a little bit over 45,000 wood. Um, so we'll end up with 450 fresh brand new spikes, should we wish them. And then we can do it again in about five days' time. I get another 450 if we wish. Which is why I say that wood spikes just so easy to so it is it was so easy to maintain, to reproduce, to keep supply. It's just simpler. So much simpler for me to do this than worry about gathering the iron to maintain steel spikes. Just simpler. A lot simpler. How many of you guys still stick with steel spikes? Or have you, have you, in Alpha 15, I mean, like, not on console. How many of you use steel spikes or do you use uh, just wood spikes? Have you switched or not switched? Damn, Madonna. How many of you use steel spikes? How many use wood? You use both MPH? Notice we were short, quite short on wood frames. Yeah, mix things up depending on what I'm building. You prefer the wood ones? Use both, use both. Never use steel spikes switched in Alpha 11. I play it, I use stack spikes. Stick. All right, got you. <coughs> yeah, outer wall gonna be cobble. A cobblestone and a cobblestone deck with gardens and a 50 by 50 pyramid. <laughs> oh, you need a pyramid as well, Mathuna. Nice. Um, iron, we'll just stick it in there for now. All good. Um, let's make some concrete. Oh, a Do follower. Um, let's go. Take the wood, you... No! What are you doing? Oh my god. It's laggy. It's gone a bit laggy. I don't know why. Like it's not responding very well. Um, whack that in there. Whack that in there. Whack that in there. I just noticed we had 2,000 exactly, so it worked quite nice, right? Stick them down there. Oh, a follower. Thank you for that follow, by the way. I appreciate that. Welcome. Welcome, 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 both of you. Welcome to the Stream of Ding Dong. 
Tried on pub summer, but ended up people ripping off my trees and raiding my base overnight. So it's solo all the way now. I understand that, Matona. Hey, TNT boss. With furnaces too. Uh, let's put the fat away. I think what I'm doing here. I want to try and get the forges all stoned up. I'm not sure if we've got any stone to put in the forges though. Oh, no. a follower. Back out in there. Yeah, so we've got no stone there. I'm going to get a little bit of stone, I think, over there. We're going to do a little bit of mining before 10 o'clock hits. We'll do a little bit of mining before 10 o'clock. Thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome to the Strema Lemma Ding Dong. Um, pickaxe. Let go. We need as much stone as we can gather and muster, right? And iron, so. Might as well do a bit of the old uh, diggy wiggy. Diggy wiggy wiggy. Oh, a follower. Well, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you very much. Where'd you all just come from? Did someone's stream just finished? Where'd you all just come from? Crazy feeling, you crazy people. Scunner Gaming, Saga Waga, Diz92, Lazarus Fate. Thank you so much, all of you. I appreciate it. Why are you so bad, but I don't know. I just am, I just am. I just am, man. It's just the way I am, you know. I, I just, I feel kind of bad on the inside sometimes. Isn't everybody a little bit bad, though? Right? Oh, any of you guys watching Exorcist? New episode out tonight. After the stream, I'll be watching that. I am quite enjoying it. It's pretty freaky, I'll be honest. Exorcist the series, not the films, right? Obviously based on the films, but yeah. It's pretty freaky. It's pretty damn good. I'm liking it. I'm Ooh, actually liking it. A follower. Seth, thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate that. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, man. Tunneling for strong, you get claustrophobic. I get it. Just make make a quarry, Mithona. Make a quarry instead. Don't do tunnels. Dig yourself a big quarry. I've done that before. <coughs> Go for a quarry. There's nothing says it has to be a tunnel. I would uh, make sure you do it in proper slopes though, so that you've got sloped sides, so that if the zombies go to it, they'll walk in and straight back out again and they won't get stuck and start digging. So I would make it all nice and neat and stuff as a quarry. But still, a quarry's fairly viable. Really? Yeah, but make it properly sloped, not like a deep hole. Like the pyramid, but inverted, right? Like a flat top pyramid, but inverted. Make that, dig that. So it's got sloped sides, perfectly sloped sides. And then if the zombies come across it, they'll just walk in and straight back out again. They won't get stuck. Yeah, Mathona, that's quite common. Use frames and it'll get rid of it. That's quite common. Use frames. Place a frame down on that block where the dirt is. Right? So if the dirt if the dirt was actually here in midair in front of me, right? I'd place frame, frame to get where the dirt is and then take the frame away and the dirt will disappear. It'll disappear. That's a little artifact that gets left behind sometimes when you dig out an area. Especially um, topsoil terrain, right? Because of the uh, the smoothing for the random gen. It leaves little artifacts behind sometimes. Just place frames down. I've showed many times on this stream how to do it. We've had a lot of them over at the dig site where the pyramid is. Just place frames down until it um, sort of overwrites it, if you like, and it'll disappear. That's something that first turned up in about Alpha 10, about Alpha 11, 
I encountered that for the first time. We encountered it actually when they first introduced dogs, which is the, well, the dog horde, dog day, which was like Alpha 11, I think. Because I remember that happening. And the exact same time, the exact same hole, we were digging in a, um, a tunnel, um, a cave system. We were digging in this cave system. There's a weird artifact appeared. I couldn't get rid of it. It was pissing me off to hell. And while we were faffing about and trying to figure it out, the dog horde turned up for the first time ever. And it scared the shit out of me. There was 44 dogs in that first horde. 44 dogs on the first horde in dog day. And I was just like, what? Like, what the fuck is this, man? A horde of 44 dogs? And then, like, um, later on that same day, there was another horde of, like, 47 dogs or something. And then another horde of, like, 43 dogs. So we had over 120 dogs come at us in one day. <laughs> when, they first introduced, when they first introduced dog hordes, dog day, I had something like 120 dogs come for me in one day. And it was all on stream. It was all there on stream. It was all streamed. And it scared the shit out of me. I was like, what the fuck, man? I, the, what have they, I was like, what the fuck have they done? The fun pimps, what the fuck have they just done, man? 120 dogs in one day. No one could fight that. And I was I was stressed out the fuck. I was seriously triggered. <laughs> like, what? I just started playing as my friends. What's the best way to play? Um, best way to play? What do you mean by the best way to play, Scunner? It's a, it's an open world game. It's, you play what you want and how you want and do what you want, man. Yeah, it was a max spawn on Black Point. Um, I think thirty. I think the horde um, was thirty dogs, according to the XMLs. It was a, a dog horde of thirty dogs, wasn't it? And because I had a max, it was thirty times one point five, right? So it could be up to forty-five dogs or something. I don't know. It was something like that. Thank you for the song request, Kingpin. Yeah, I don't know what the vultures will be like. I get the funny feeling it'll just be a texture change, Quizzy. And they'll just be hornets. With a texture change. I don't know if they'll be that much different. I don't know if they'll be all that different. Who knows though, right? I, don't, I certainly don't know. I certainly don't know. Who knows, man? It could be pretty freaky. It could be pretty freaky, right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, of course, Mithona. Yeah, of course. I understand that. I get that. Uh, let's put this crap away. Uh, concrete mix. Concrete blocks. Sand. Then we've got loads of space in our inventory to pick up loads of stuff. Um, actually, we need more space than that. This is stuff left behind from another time we went our, emptied our inventory. Uh, but anyway. Okay. So we have the horde arrived. We're not going to do very much. It's going to be pretty boring for you, quite honestly. I keep saying that. But, you know, it's true. Uh, the horde's coming in from various directions. There they are from over there. Um, I think there's some coming from over here. Possibly. I'm pretty sure I heard spikes getting wrecked over here. But anyway, so the horde's coming over, uh, coming from over there, predominantly, it would seem. And what will happen is, they will then, they will then die on the, uh, the spikes down below, right? They will then just die on the spikes. So it'll be pretty easy for us, really. We won't have to do very much, apart from just watch them all die on the spikes. However, because it's horde night, normally every hour, guys, in this stream, we have hashtag responsible gaming, um, where I, um, go AFK for three or four minutes to go and make a coffee or whatever. And uh, this time, because it's Horde Night, we won't go AFK without pausing it. So it's now paused. The game is paused. You're not going to miss anything. Go and get yourself a coffee. Go get yourself a snack. Go to the toilet. Stretch your legs. Do whatever it is you need to do. Come right back in about three or four minutes and we'll carry on with the game, okay? I'm going to be literally about maybe four minutes, I would say, and I'll see you as soon as possible. I'm going to quickly go to the toilet and probably eat a couple of chips uh, and I'll be right back in about three, four minutes. I'll see you very, very soon. Get yourself a coffee. I'll be right